And we also should talk about the FMN slash FAD redox properties. Now, in a lot of these, I'm just going to say FAD, but I'm implying FMN2. I just tend to say FAD because it's a much more commonly used coenzyme, although you can't live without FMN. Now, FAD and FMN, really, can accept or donate a hydride anion, which has two electrons. Okay, that would be if I was going from right here on the top to right here on the bottom. So we can actually directly transfer two electrons at a time if that's what the mechanism of the enzyme dictates. It's all dep dependent on that enzyme's mechanism. What we can also do is do a stepwise process of transferring one electron at a time. If we do that, we can start with FMNH2 or FADH2, transfer one electron and get to the FADH radical or semiquinone form, and then from there transfer another electron to get back to the FAD quinone form. Again, it all depends on the mechanism of the enzyme, but the versatility in flavins allows them to have some pretty cool chemistry, which can include radical chemistry, as you can see right here in FADH semiquinone in the middle. So it can transfer two electrons if that's needed, or it can transfer one. Okay, an example of where it transfers one electron um, would be in the case of the cytochrome P450 reductase. Okay, and by the way, we have a video explaining that mechanism as well.